David Coburn, leader of UKIP in Scotland, MEP for Scotland. I'm going to talk to you today about the budget. UKIP Scotland welcomes the budget and especially the two billion more allocated for Scotland. We also welcome the fact that VAT will no longer apply to Scotland's national police and fire services, though the SNP were responsible for making the emergency services vulnerable to VAT charges in the first place. UKIP welcomes the new Tay Cities deal in Scotland and a city deal for Stirling. UKIP also welcomes the tax relief for recovering North Sea oil and gas industries. The SNP produced their traditional wine, whereas what they should be doing is making sensible economies rather than squandering taxpayers' hard-earned money on vanity projects such as the Name Persons Act. Holyrood needs to work with Westminster, not against Westminster, in the interests of the Scottish people and economy. The Chancellor announced today that English home buyers will no longer have to pay stamp duty on properties of up to £300,000. Conversely, Scottish homeowners will continue to pay in full as the tax is devolved to Holyrood. In contrast, the SNP government's attempts to raise Scottish taxes over English ones is the most disastrous policy, even by their poor standards. This will simply cause capital flight from Scotland, as well as displacement of workers and businesses re relocating across the border to England. The Westminster government's freeze on spirits duty today will encourage the Scottish distillers to invest in infrastructure and create new jobs. Conversely, the SNP's minimum alcohol pricing structure was found even by the EU to be an anti-competitive and they banned it. Scotland seems to have more to fear from the SNP in Holyrood than the Parliament in Westminster, as Holyrood's SNP act against the interests of Scotland, its businesses and its workers. The SNP government could not even man maintain the fourth road bridge, so how can they ever be trusted to run Scotland? Thank you all.